Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. So guys, thank you so much for the 11,000 subscribers and uh, right now I'm really planning very hard for my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video we are going to learn about the another new topic of molding that is known as the injection molding process. So we'll see like uh, how the most of the manufacturers having the this particular injection molding machine on their premises and We'll also check out the like the theoretical parts as well as in the practical part over here. So guys stay tuned till the end and watch my video till the end guys. And guys don't forget to subscribe to my educational channel Engineers Academy. Also please hit the bell icon and if you have in case of doubts just do a comment. Okay. So guys let's begin with our today's topic that is injection molding process. Just like the other process of manufacturing, the injection molding is the process which can be used for the plastic as well as for the metals also. So guys, in this case, as you can see, this is the injection molding machine. Okay. And just below that, this is the schematic representation of how an uh, like injection molding is carried out. So guys, as you can see over here, the first one is the hopper and from that hopper, like you know the molten metal or as the plastic granules with certain additives are added then it will go down into the chamber which will having a screw or else uh, the screw assembly in the chamber in a cylinder or else it can be having you know like the cylinder piston assembly that can be actuated by the pneumatic as well as the hydraulic means if it is pneumatic then the the whole machine will comes under the pneumatic uh, uh, injection molding or else if if that particular cylinder piston assembly in hydraulic system then it can be called as the hydraulic injection molding process so that's clear basically it can be pneumatic as well as hydraulic and the granules of the plastic fed into the cylinder and then it is heated from the external source as we have seen in the process of extrusion it is heated the from the external source then it gets converted into the liquid form the, the, uh, you know the granules of the plastic starts melting and that is also the controlled heating process okay it depends upon the type of the plastic which we are using the type of the material which we are using also it depends upon the you know for the time period for which we are heating that particular plastic so like these are you know these are the affecting factors while carry out the heating process into injection molding so once it is melted then it is pressed or else pushed from uh, inside a die so this is pushed inside a die so guys this die is you know these are the custom design die the manufacturers can design as per the requirements and these have the cavities also so guys in the case of extrusion there was a single die which is having a single opening there and we get the same profile through that opening but in case of injection molding there is a two dies that is uh, like the hot junction and the cold junction just like similar to that there are two dies over here so the and between that two dies there is you know there is a cavity or else the profile so inside that the you know the molten metal or else the molten plastic gets injected and pressurized through a certain pressure that can be you know that can be vary as per the design requirements and can be vary as per the material so then this particular liquid molten uh, molten metal or molten plastic is forced to flow into the die cavity then it takes the shape of the of the profile inside the die and then it is cooled so when it then it is cooled and then after solidification this particular like uh, die this both die gets open and the you know the ultimately the final product comes out through the ejector pinch so guys this is the main you know main working or this is the actual working which happens inside the injection molding machine so this is whole the uh, this was the whole injection molding process so guys you have to understand that basically injection molding is a process into which the molten plastic or molten metal gets injected in the die cavity and that injection like is the forced 
type of injection in uh, so that's why it is known as the injection molding process now let's talk about why the manufacturers use this particular injection molding so guys you know first of all for I, I'm having a requirement of you know a large amount of quantity such as I want this particular uh, plastic part which is having uh, large numbers so I say such as like I'm having 10,000 pieces required of this particular plastic product so for that 10,000 pieces I can go for this manufacturing technique because you know there is a continuous fed that they, there is the continuous <coughs> fedding inside the hopper that is the continuous fedding inside the hopper and the product which I'm getting is you know the continuous this particular process is suitable for the mass production high number production bulk production so that's why this is the main advantage of this particular process that is it is suitable for the mass production if I'm getting mass production it means uh, the cost of the product into the manufacturing or else the cost of manufacturing that per particular product will also increase so basically ultimately this process is costly and uh, like the injection molding machine can cost you around 6 to 10 lakhs that depends upon the capacity of the machine that depends upon the systems that is the hyd uh, hydraulically operated or else the pneumatic operated or else it can be a CNC type computerized numeric control type so there are various parameters are there so which affects the costing of your particular injection molding machine there is also another advantage such that the complex parts or as the custom designs which having the complex variations can be easily manufactured by this particular technique of injection molding so yeah of course uh, so this is you know the complex part can be easily molded into molded and this is you know this is the process which is suitable for the complex parts and products also guys there are some other advantages such as the faster production high production rate also this process you know is very efficient there is a better control uh, through for the like the product which having a good color there is the control over the color control over the dimension as as this process is having the numeric control over it so you know this can be useful for the mass production also so that is you know this that is the advantages these are the main advantages also there are the design flexibility is there in the uh, in that particular manufacturing process also guys there are some disadvantages such that the you know the initial high production cost is very high over here in this case so that is the main disadvantage of the this injection molding process so guys that was just a small introduction to the process which is known as the injection molding so guys i hope you understand this particular process and in case if you have any doubts and queries just please leave a comment below if i miss anything just tell me what i have missed in this video also guys don't forget to hit like comment and share it guys to your social networks